What is the point of the violence? I mean, aren't we, aren't they really protesting the violence yes. with violence? I mean, that doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. So peaceful, yes, it is your right to protest. So I agree with the students who are protesting, but do it peacefully. Well, the college protesters, the pro-peace protesters were not protesting against violence while being violent, but calling them violence a great way to defame them when you don't agree with their message, which is exactly what First Lady Jill Biden did as her husband facilitates the aerial bombardments that's being carried out by Israel in the Gaza Strip. And look, free speech rights apparently matter a lot in America until the message is something you don't agree with, which one of the nurses who was recently awarded a compassion award learned after just criticizing Israel a little bit during her acceptance speech. So the name of the nurse is Hessen Jabber and she is a labor and delivery nurse and a Palestinian American. She was being honored by NYU Langone for her compassion in caring for mothers who had just lost their babies. And understandably, her work made her think about the mothers who have lost their pregnancies and their children in Gaza, thanks to Israel's war on Gaza. She said during her speech, quote, it pains me to see the women from my country going through unimaginable losses themselves during the current genocide in Gaza, she said. According to a video of the May 7th speech that she posted on social media. This award is deeply personal to me for those reasons. But things went south after that and she ended up getting fired over her speech. She wrote on Instagram that she arrived at work on May 22nd for her first shift back after receiving the award. When she was summoned to a meeting with the hospital's president and vice president of nursing to discuss how I put others at risk. At risk. And ruined the ceremony and offended people because a small part of my speech was a tribute toward, towards the grieving mothers in my country. She claims that after she worked most of her shift, she was called back into the office and was read her termination letter. Then she was escorted out of the building. And look, so far we've only heard her side of the story. Maybe she was fired for other reasons and she's just blaming it on her acceptance speech. Except turns out that a spokesperson for the hospital has confirmed that she was fired over her speech. This is Steve Ridia, who is a spokesperson for NYU Langone. He says that she was warned in December following a previous incident not to bring her views on this divisive and charged issue into the workplace. She instead chose not to heed that at a recent employee recognition event that was widely attended by her colleagues, some of whom were upset after her comments. As a result, she's no longer at NYU Langone. And this is. This isn't the only case that we've seen in America. A lot of people have been losing their jobs for having the audacity to criticize Israel and how they've been prosecuting this war in Gaza. Pausing here to deliver some honest truth as we do in our news coverage as well. TYT is facing challenges, guys, as the entire industry is. You know who could make the difference? You. If you hit the join button below, it's gonna make all the difference and keep us in business. We appreciate you, thank you. Okay, so let's talk about the hypocrites because this is obviously cancel culture. I mean, you don't get any more cancel culture than I don't like your opinion, you're fired. So I know one of the biggest you know, opponents of cancel culture theoretically in America was Bill Maher. Oh, and to this day, he's constantly talking about oh, cancel culture. He got in a debate with Bill Burr the other day, like, oh, of course it still exists, it's terrible. When things like this happen, Bill Maher's like, yes, cancel anyone who dares to be opposed to Israel, beloved Israel. Okay, they're they're terrorist so, supporters. Yeah, that's, that's what he what said. He, he says. calls anyone who criticizes Israel terrorist supporters. Every time, whenever he talks about any of the protesters of Israel, he always calls them supporters of Hamas or terrorist supporters. Because if you're for peace and you don't want Palestinian kids' heads blown off, you're at in Bill Maher's mind a terrorist who doesn't think that Israel should be allowed to murder anyone they like. These no good terrorists. They sh so. They, Where's all the cancel culture snowflakes? Where are you guys? I'm actually against cancel culture. I'm against it when it happens to the right wing. I'm against it when it happens to the left wing. I'm against it in all instances. But I'm not a hypocrite like Bill Maher or Jill Biden. Oh my God! Well, yeah, you know, I'm so in favor of free speech. She says I watched the whole thing, 
And she says, "Oh my God, I have so much empathy for the Palestinians." No, you don't. You're a liar. Oh, oh, by the way, this will get me in more trouble than anything else I've ever said in Who Washington. Cares? How dare you criticize the first lady and accurately call her a liar? Because she just defamed the peaceful college protesters and conflated them with violent individuals. That's so, why. hey, liar Jill Biden, where's the violence from the peace protesters? Where? I can show you the violence from the pro Israel. Counter protesters at UCLA. at UCLA, massive violence. Did the view mention that? No. Did Jill Biden mention that? No. I can show you the guy who was a, a, a radical pro Israel supporter in New York who ran over a little lady at a peace protest with his car and was arrested for it. But hey, view, where's the outrage for that? Nothing, nothing. Because the view does propaganda. The propaganda is Israel is great. I and mean, we could pre pretend to care about Palestinians, it's kind of awkward. We saw the kid with his head missing, we saw them lit on fire. So we have to pretend we do cosplay of empathy. But then what do we say? Joy Behar is supposed to be a progressive. Okay, not at all, gone, gone, she's not. All she is is now an establishment hack. Everything she ever says is Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden. Oh My God, he's the best. I love the way he has given $20 billion to slaughter the Palestinians. Oh, oops, I meant, oh, cancel everyone who criticizes Israel. They're the violent ones. Okay, Joy, okay, Jill, where's your evidence? Where's your evidence? I, I just told you the evidence of the pro-Israel side, which you never mentioned. Because you want to cancel anyone who criticizes Israel. You love cancel culture. That's who Jill Biden is, that's who Bill Maher is, that's who Joy Behar and everyone on The View is. Do they want to cancel the co-founder of Human Rights Watch and the Holocaust survivor who just recently over the weekend told Fareed Zakaria that he believes that Israel is carrying out a genocide? Do they want to cancel that person too? Is that Holocaust survivor a Hamas sympathizer, a terrorist sympathizer? I, look, I, there, I wouldn't put anything past them. So there's wonderful, decent people that are not necessarily part of the peace protest or anything, but that are honest. And so John Stewart, as always, has been great on this. He's about the only person on TV saying things that are true. And what do they call him? They call him an anti-Semite because even though he's Jewish, they call Bernie Sanders an anti-Semite even though he's Jewish. Because if you're ever criticize Israel, if you're ever in favor of peace, if you're ever in favor of not slaughtering Palestinians, everyone else on TV, everyone else in politics will come out and go, you should be fired. That nurse who helped women after they lost their children, fire her. She criticized Israel, how dare she, I want her canceled. She gave a speech on the award that she won for having empathy for women who had just lost their children. About women who had just lost their children. So and she mentioned in what one or two sentences that were incredibly benign about Gaza. But 1%, one inch criticism of Israel will get you canceled in this country. I appreciate her courage, we love you, thank you. For doing what you did in terms of taking care of American mothers who lost children at NYU. And thank you for speaking out for non Americans who are losing children. Because that's because you're a decent, wonderful human being. The people who fired you are monsters. And the people who are defending that and defending arresting peace protesters for exercising their constitutional rights are monsters. Jill Biden doesn't believe in America. She thinks you should only be able to protest the things I have approved. But if you, uh, but did you know APAC has given my husband $11.2 million? How dare you protest Israel? You should be arrested. But I have great empathy and I'm for freedom of speech. No, you're not. You're lying. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So, all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.